A senior administration official says immigration authorities have started conducting raids to target about 2,000 undocumented immigrants with deportation orders. At this hour, though, advocacy groups in several cities say they have not yet seen any arrests. Joining us now to discuss this and more, we have Ken Cuccinelli. He's the acting director of U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services. Uh, director Cuccinelli, thanks so much for being with us. And I will Good get morning, to those Allison. raids in a moment. But I do just want to start with the big news from yesterday, and that was the president's tweet targeting these progressive freshman women in Congress. Let me just read it to people who might have missed it. The president sent this out yesterday at 8 a.m. So interesting to see progressive Democratic Congresswomen who originally came from countries whose governments are a complete and total catastrophe, the worst, most corrupt and inept anywhere in the world, if they even have a functioning government at all, now loudly and viciously telling the people of the United States, the greatest and most powerful nation on earth, how our government is to be run. Why don't they go back and help fix the totally broken and crime infested places from which they came? What did you think of that tweet? Uh, well, I didn't see that tweet actually. Uh, I can hear what you're reading, but uh, I've spent the weekend reading litigation and, and regulatory <laughs> materials related yeah. to asylum. So sure, but now uh, that you've heard it, what do you, you think know, of it? You I, know, I, uh, I I don't I don't I, I can see the president's commenting on the, some of the splits in the Democratic caucus in the House, presumably. But beyond that, I'm staying focused on trying to fix our, our asylum system. Yeah. We have a 300 plus thousand case backlog, and we have a crisis at the border, and we have a role to play at USCIS in, in fixing those yeah, things. Yeah, of course. I mean, I guess that the, I just need to ask you, when he says to these U.S. <laughs> congresswomen, all U.S. citizens, why don't they go back and help fix the totally broken and crime-infested places from which they came? Do you see that as racist? Uh, no, I, I see that as presumably, you know, political hand grenades, but I wouldn't go that far, no, but certainly not. Telling women of color Look, to go I, back to the country. You've spent a lot of time on Twitter. Came. I've spent a lot of time doing an actual job where asylum yeah. is at risk and where uh, we're trying to process legal immigrants yeah. who are obeying our rules and to turn away the yeah. illegals who understood. are fraudulently I trying understood. to use and our And I have system. a job to do as well. Director, I understand. But I'm not on Twitter, so I don't. Uh, I don't actually engage on Twitter. I haven't been on Twitter in the last 24 hours either. Understood. So. But now that I'm reading it to you, or just the concept of the president of the United States telling duly elected congresswomen of color to go back to where they came from, the countries that they came from. These are U.S. citizens. So you don't find that racist? No. So how do you explain it? How do you see I it? I don't. You, you know, you're going to have to ask the president about that. The problem is, is that you represent his immigration policy. You are the acting director of the U.S. So let's talk about immigration, immigration policy. Service. But, sir, you represent immigration for the administration. Do you think that the president of the United States should be telling U.S. citizens of color to go back to the countries they came from? I think that the president of the United States should be doing what he is in the immigration space, and that is in focusing on trying to fix an obviously broken system when we look at the border when he's getting almost no help from Congress. Mm -hmm. The same congressional people that he's lobbing hand grenades at, I will concede, but, but at the same time, they are, all they do is complain. They don't help fix anything. Mm -hmm. And the, some of the solutions we're seeking in the Trump administration are the same as were sought in the Obama administration. Yeah. It is not a partisan solution in every instance. So do you think that this tweet from the president is helpful towards well, fixing the immigration uh, system? Well, anything that starts to jar them into actually t addressing the problem, whether it's out of happiness or being upset with them or whatever it may be. But when I saw the House calendar come out recently, uh -huh. between now and their vacation in August, and this was nowhere to be seen. Crisis at the border that yep. they called a manufactured crisis only a few months ago, uh, and they're not doing a single thing them, to fix so it. So you think this might be helpful in jarring them to positive action? I didn't say that. Uh, but they are going to have to rouse themselves if they're going to continue to complain and not be part of attempting to solve okay. the problem that we're facing. We're going to move on, but just to be clear so that you're on the record, you are okay with the president's tweet. I'm not commenting on the president's tweets. You don't want to let him go, but I'm trying to focus on the immigration You are on, the on representative the of immigration. System. This is a Yes, I'm not the representative of Twitter. Congress, uh, Director, this is about who the president thinks belongs in the United States. 
Uh, actually, immigration policy is a lot more about who the president thinks belongs in the United That's States. Right. These are part and we're trying and to work of on the that. same thing. And so you I have see I see no comment on immigration policy in anything you just read me. He said they should go back to their home countries. Look, if you want to just argue about this and instead of talking about actual policy that the Congress is failing to address, although I have to admit that at least in the Senate, Senator Graham working with Senator Durbin, is trying to address some of these problems. It is certainly not happening in the House, all while we see pictures of overcrowding yeah. that is caused because Congress isn't doing its job. Um, Leaving the frontline officers and ICE agents on the interior to deal with uh, overcrowding and to deal with doing a job Congress charged them to do without yeah. the resources to do it properly. Yeah. Um, Director Cuccinelli, did. Did my colleague Jake Tapper read you that tweet yesterday? On yes, the air? he did. So you have heard this tweet before, and you have had 24 hours to process it. So what? So what? I, I told you, you I haven't been on Twitter in 24 hours. I'm not in there doing the Twitter war. I'm, I'm working on fixing an asylum system and trying to make our immigration system legal and, in, and vetting illegals work correctly. That's what I've been spending my time, including this weekend, yeah. doing, okay. not I, tweeting. Okay, I got it. I understand that you don't want to talk more about it. Here, maybe you can give us some real information. How many people were arrested yesterday? Uh, I do not have operational details. Matt Albans is uh, acting director of ICE, is a career professional law enforcement Has officer. Has he reported to you on how many arrests? No, no. Why not? No. Well, presumably because operational details are kept contained within the agency executing the operation. Well, beforehand as they should they're be. supposed to be, but not after the fact they become Well, facts. look, it, it, that raises a really interesting point. We're talking about this as if it were news. And I say that w recognizing that this is ICE's job every single day. Their job is interior enforcement. There are over a million people in this country who have gone through the extensive due process system of our immigration system and have removal orders that they have not obeyed, the yeah. most disobeyed federal order that, that must exist. Yeah. And, and yet we're talking about it like it's a special event. Well, the reason that we're talking about it as if it's a special event is because the president announced it on June 17th as a special event. Here's what he <coughs> said. Next week, ICE will begin the process of removing the millions of illegal aliens who have illicitly found their way into the United States. They will be removed as fast as they come in. Mexico, using their strong immigration laws, is doing a very good job. He announced it as though it will begin the process, as though it was a special event. We're responding to that. Well, and, and uh, again, President gets to speak for himself, but in terms of details of the operation and specific results, those are not public yet. Um, and I don't expect operational details to, to become public on the front side of their execution no, okay, of course. at any I, point. I don't mean on the front side of their execution. And, and I've I mean told you that I don't have side. details about any arrests. Yeah. that have taken place well, so far with respect to that operation. The reason that I'm asking you is because the different mayors in these cities that we were told were being targeted um, have said that they haven't seen anything. So it's just hard for us to gauge whether it's really happening. Understood. Is it really happening? Uh, well, when ICE is ready to do it, and, and maybe it's already begun, then uh, they'll execute on it. But those are not details they share outside of their own law enforcement agencies with with uh, in any breadth, so. So they haven't told you, basically. Correct. Okay. Politico is reporting this morning that you all will be making an announcement to Congress about a change in asylum policy. Uh, it says here, the Trump administration is readying a new DOJ DHS rule for asylum claims at the southern border. The administration is set to begin briefing senior figures on Capitol Hill today. The administration has been eager to have Congress change asylum laws, but it yep. appears as if the White House is taking matters into its own hands. So what will you be announcing today? So uh, as I mentioned earlier, without congressional action, we have been looking at the steps that we can take within the existing legal structure to fix various aspects of our asylum system, among other things, but asylum is what USCIS is responsible for. We are working with the Department of Justice on a number of matters, and I think that you can expect to see some more details as, uh, as this week unfolds in that respect. Uh, again, uh, very traditional regulatory action going on here. It's just a lot slower than if Congress 
would take steps. Yeah, but it doesn't sound that traditional because it sounds like, I mean, from CNN's own reporting, that what you want to do is bar migrants who are transiting through Mexico from being able to claim asylum here. So as we know, a lot many come through from Central America through Mexico <laughs> and then claim asylum. So is that what you're trying to change? So, and at the same time, talking to Mexico and Northern Triangle countries about uh, safe third country agreements as well. So we are looking at various aspects of that same strategy, both here regulatorily, internally, and with international partners.